All right, well, um, it, let's see. We've got about 40 minutes to the opening bell. So far, I have taken no trades today, and uh, maybe today's going to be a slower day. So, you know, the game plan, as always, is to sit down here and look at the gap scanner. And usually what I'll do um, a little on the earlier side, anytime between, you know, 6 and 7, is I'll load up um, the chat room on my phone, and then I'll check, I'll go to the top menu and I'll check the top gappers. So I'll take a look and I'll see, well, you know, what do we have for top gappers today? Is there anything that's interesting? And I can tell, you know, pretty quickly if there's only 15, 20% gappers that eh, it's really not worth maybe, you know, running to, to get in. Um, but, you know, of course, uh, if there's a gapper that's like 50, 75%, then that's something that I'm like a little more interested in. So anyways, this morning I looked, really no no gapper that I was particularly interested in. So I was like, okay, um, you know, that's uh, that's fine. Sat down here around 7.45 and it's just been kind of slow. Uh, so, you know, I want to be mindful of the fact that my last few trading sessions were not super clean. You know, yesterday was was good, um, but Monday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday were not great. And I had a red day on Monday, I think it was. Uh, no, it was Friday. And, you know, obviously that was a little disappointing because I was on a 49-day hot streak and I didn't want to break the <clears throat> the streak. And I traded on on Friday. I mean, I, tr I just traded all day long. I tried to get back. I tried to get back because what you can see is you know, I tried and tried and tried, and then I had a big loss. And then I, I got a big win, but that could have also dropped me down 6,000. And I just could not bridge the gap to get back to green. Um, so that was Friday. And then I started um, Monday by going uh, into the red. Uh, well, no, nah, I don't remember. I guess I uh, made some money, then went down, then went red, then finished just over green. And on Tuesday... I started red uh, 5,000 and this was sort of a, an epic recovery, which, you know, it's always, it's always nice to have a good recovery. Um, but it would have been my much nicer if I hadn't, uh, you know, taken that big of a loss, uh, and, and dropped myself that deep into the red and I'll import, uh, yesterday's trades here for you. So we can look at uh, yesterday as well. So, you know, looking at some trades here and of course, actively, listening for scanners if you know one of my scanners starts to fire off an alert i can i'll hear it and i'll be able to jump in quickly many of you guys know this but um i have a development team that built out these scanners for me it, they're built around the strategy that i trade these scanners are available for members over at uh, day trade dash as you guys know um, this is day trade dash here this is trading tools only there's no classes on day trade dash so it's just the scanners the news and then if you want to opt in for um dash plus you get my low latency broadcast as well on warrior you get the same uh, dash platform uh, but you also get all the classes and in any case um so you know i have this development team that built out these scanners and works for me and maintains them and you know what we're generally uh, looking for are stocks moving quickly right rate of change that's what i'm looking for so um if i hear something uh start to uh, pop up i'll take a look pepg from yesterday uh yeah you know you got a nice squeeze there from six to seven eight and then into the afternoon all the way up to a high of uh 1284 that's pretty good i didn't get any trades on that one yesterday but, uh, you know, that, that was a nice move, but then faded back here down to 934, which is about 50% of the move up, although it's starting to look like a head and shoulders pattern. This is sort of the, the arm, the shoulder, the head, the shoulder for a fade back down towards six or seven. So mm, I don't know if I would um, trust that, but um, that's, you know. We'll see. I, I prefer to trade it on day one when at least even if it's going to form a head and shoulders, you're trading the, the leg up, uh, not kind of the, the reversal back up. 
So, uh, let's see. Oh, and then trades from yesterday. So uh, yesterday finished up. I was up a little over 7,000, gave back a little off the top, and then, you know, shut, shut it down there at 6,600. Was at 5,800 after fees and commissions. So, you know, a decent day there. And now here we are on Thursday, two days left for the month of September, and it seems a little slow so far today. We just don't have a lot that's going on. So this is the end of third quarter, and then we've got fourth quarter. Typically, Q4 is when I make the most, Q4 and Q1. So between now and March, I'm expecting to have some pretty good opportunities, not necessarily every single day, but uh, between the, these next... Uh, six months. All right, so BBAI leading gapper up 44%. It's a cheaper stock. Has some news, but I don't usually like the cheaper stocks all that much. I'm going to leave it alone for now. SNTI up 24%. This one's a 23 million share float. It's below VWAP. Again, just a cheaper stock. Um, Let's see, AXLA. Well, we appreciate your support, Branson. Branson? Uh, AXLA, yep. Floats a little higher. LHDX, no real volume on that. VIVK. Thank you. Uh, Yes, for those tuning in, I just started the morning show on YouTube. Uh, reminder that uh, trading is, in fact, risky, in case you didn't know that. And my results are not typical, and most beginner traders do lose money. So trade cautiously, practice in a simulator before you put real money on the line, and don't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. The broadcast that goes out to YouTube has a slight uh, delay on it. We run ads on the YouTube channel, as you know. Uh, but, of course, for members at Day Trade Dash and Warrior Pro uh, and Warrior Starter, Warrior Trading and, and Dash, uh, ultra low latency broadcast, no ads. So nice experience over there for you guys. All right. Uh, so I think at this point, probably we'll be looking for uh, uh, the first uh, stock to hit the scanners to start squeezing up. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, I see QTech. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Not sure about that. Yeah, sorry, I just had a phone call. Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure about Q Tech.
And you can see it's coming back down. Nah, no trade on that for me. Well, it's a little cheaper. So it's a little cheaper. The floats, 11 million, not bad, but it's a little cheaper. And it's not a recent IPO. It's not a recent reverse split. It's sold off for quite a long time. I don't know about a hurricane, the hurricane catalyst. I don't know if that's a very, I don't know if that's, I, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like the right one. So, you know, sometimes I will trade that price range, um, you know, when it's maybe a more recent IPO or it's got something else that kind of gives it a little bit more potential, but Of course, now it's easy to say because it's coming back down. Nice, SJ. Good work. So MOTS is hitting the scanners there. This one you can see was a reverse split um, back in July. So, you know, it's worth watching. I, I don't know. It's already up 69%, but that does make it the leading gapper. So I'll do a dip there at 87, just small size to start. So it was 1,000 shares. High of this candle is 22 We'll wait for a one minute pullback. High is 20, 23 actually. So the 200 moving average is at 608. Added at 15 for the breakthrough 25, there's 30. Now let's see if we get a move up through 35. Small profits on it. Added at 29, there's 37. Profit at 38. Kind of missed the bulk of the move, but going a little higher $814 profit close the position I is 40 nice job for those that um, got in that a little earlier volume was light But it did continue higher. High is now 40. Added at 39 for the breakthrough 50. Now watching the break of 50. Added at 48. There's 55. There's 60. So it puts me up a little over a thousand on the stock. High of this candle 60. Watching for a dip. Add it at 47. 
thousand shares, profit at fifty five. Eleven $1 hundred dollars so far. It's just hard when you get that kind of straight up move. I mean, hey, it's awesome. It's great to see. That's awesome to see, but um, at the same time, all you have are micro pullbacks. So there was a micro pullback at like 397 there, 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 and there. We haven't even gotten a proper one minute pullback yet. So my guess would be that short sellers are probably already in positions on this into that squeeze because it's so extended. So you can see, you know, probably people selling against that level short against 60. If this turns into a false breakout, then you get a sell off back down towards four. The high is 60. But if it breaks that level, then you could get a squeeze up towards five. So right now, just watching. Starter for me at 50, bought the dip there, looking for the breakthrough uh, 460. So watch 458. Watching 55 to add for the squeeze through 460 and a little short squeeze continuation. Added at 55. There's 58.62, 10,000 share buyer, little short covering, probably. A little bit of profit at 65, new order 65. Added at 65, now looking for 75. 77 is good. High this candle 77, added at 77, now looking to add at 80. Adding right there at 83, now looking for the extension and short covering up to $5. Added at 86, there's 89, there's 93. Let's see if we can get the breakthrough $5, holding 2,000 shares. So once I see it starting to accelerate like that, that's when I try to be a little bit more aggressive and size up. Flat on the rest of the position, best exit, 89. The high was 93. High of this candle, 93. We're getting close to our daily moving averages. Nice job for those that got in this early. I chased it a little bit. So now on a pullback, I can watch a retest of 60. And new order is at five. That way I could try to catch the break through five. Dip at 81. Green on the tape, good. Break even trade, flat at 81. Watching off of 60. Dip at 72. Watching to add at 60. So I want to add off of 60, the previous support level. Nice, Jack. That Your work is done for today. Okay, so we're watching first one minute candle to make a new high, which is over 82. Add it at 72. Look at that. Nice. Nice first one minute candle. That puts me just up over 3,000 on the day. Took a little profit at 86.
flat the rest, let it pull back, watching 60. You son of a gun. Unbelievable. Well, it happens. You know, I, I chased it uh, a bit, but... So, you know, I, I think... We do have the recent reverse split. We obviously have some news. It's now up 100%. I'm up three grand on it. I don't know. Um, didn't really trade it as well as I could have because I didn't get a good, you know, didn't get a good entry before it started to open up. And then all my entries were sort of a chase. So I had to take profit quickly, you know, and that's the way it sometimes goes. Uh, green is better than, than red and it's better than nothing. So I think the question now is going to be how well does this hold up on a five minute pattern? VWAP is around 56. That tells us a lot of the volume has been at a pretty high level. Add there at 78. Now watch over 87, 88. So I'm going to start to time this for the break through that pivot and a trade through $5. Watching over 88 to add. There's 84 on the ask, 85. Good. I'm looking for 88 to print to add or to buy on the dip. So I'm looking for that acceleration. There's 86, 87, added 88. There's 90. Good. 10,000 share buyer on the bid. Added at 94. We get through $5. Watching 96 and 97 for the breakthrough the highs. So high of this candle right there is 95. Watching over 95, 96, 97 for the breakthrough $5. There's 96, there's 505, good. There's a little profit as it comes up through that level. Best exit 504. That was a quick little squeeze there. Let's see if this accelerates over five. Puts me up 4,000. A lot of volume going through right here. We're under five. Adding right there. Now look for 515, 525. Now we're going to look for acceleration up to 530. So once it starts to pull away like that, watching 515. High volume here. So new order. Added 503, now looking for extension up to 515, 525. This is a micro pullback. Watch over 511. High volume on this candle, which is great to see. I'm going to look to add at 506, 507. Adding right there, 506. Now looking 505, now looking for the break through 515. Flat for now, taking the loss at five. It should have broken right away. I sized up a little too heavy. Lost 700 on that trade. 
Watching now for dips. Ton of volume right there, and it was churning. It should have pulled away up to 525. I didn't want to get slippage and end up getting filled on the exit at like 485. Dip at 490 for the pop back over 5. 96 on the ask. Watching the reclaim of $5. Green on the tape. Added at 95. I want to see if we pop back up to like 505. Flat at 90. $30 loss. Managed the risk. Kept it tight. I was 514. Yeah, so coming into a little bit of a pullback here on the five, probably need to wait for either a pullback off the volume weight average price or maybe a just brand new setup, different stock perhaps. So relatively small gain of 3,200 right now. Ten minutes to the opening bell. Well, you're welcome to refresh the YouTube broadcast, but we do run ads on the YouTube channel. So, and I'm very clear about that.
So we've got about seven and a half minutes to the opening bell here. Red candle, high 514. MACD is crossed over, right? The easiest trades are usually on the front side of that move. So now we're in this sort of five minute pullback. I'm not sure if it's gonna, um, the last two trades were both losers, the, um, the trades around five. So I don't know, that might be, that might be it for now, but we'll see if there's bounce trades, dip trades off VWAP, or if uh, we get a five minute pattern that forms. So daily goal is still five grand, so about uh, $1,800 shy of the daily goal right now. But with six and a half minutes to the bell, we'll look for trades through the opening range between 10 and 10.30 and see if there's some more opportunities. All right, so that's the game plan right now. I'm glad that we got something, um, you know, wasn't as easy for me, but you know, we got something, so that's good. Dip off VWAP there at 81, watching back over 90. So looking to add at 490, watching the seller get bought up. So I could add it right there at 90. There you go. So that's a little trade uh, as it goes up to 91, 92, a little bit of profit there. And then new orders at 95. That was a, a trade right off volume weight average price. New order is $5. First five minute candle to make a new high is 94. So we're in a five minute pattern here. Added at 85 to try to anticipate the first five minute candle to make a new high. There's 86. Looking for the break through 495 and 496. There's 486 on the ask. High of this candle was 94. So let's watch over 490. Dips off VWAP are valid. Green on the tape there, 86. Break even trade uh, for now on that watching for another dip off 75. My average was like 85, so I'm gonna to try to get my average a little lower. Put an order on the bid at 74. About three minutes to the opening bell. So it is forming a bull flag on the five, but a little bit higher volume on that first red candle. No fill on the bid so far, hasn't come down far enough. I thought that might have been the turning point where bounce off VWAP and then a curl back through five, but not quite. Okay, so three minutes to the bell, members of Day Trade Dash, members at Warrior Trading. I'm gonna keep trading. We'll see if we have more opportunities on MOTS. We do have the 200 moving average coming up, so that's a possible issue. That would be I think a resistance point. 
Uh, but we'll also watch scanners to see if anything else pops up. Having a stock up 105% into the open is pretty impressive. So let's see if that um, results in strength in other stocks that hit the scanners today. All right, so that's the game plan. Reminder, as always, for those who have tuned in on YouTube, that trading is risky. My results are not typical, and to take it slow, I'll put a link right here to uh, a couple videos I think you guys will enjoy. So I hope you check those out. I hope you hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you back here first thing tomorrow morning.